The far-reaching impact of Boeing's 53-day strike is still being felt at local businesses. Businesses like Cedar Rivers Barbecue in downtown Renton, a mile and a half away from the Boeing factory. It's been really slow. Lunch rush, they were here, but lately it's been like dead. Cynthia Stowers says it doesn't stop there. For you when you're ready. Caterings, we have big caterings from Boeing, not so much. According to the Association of Washington Business, the machinist strike cost an estimated $5 billion nationally. The economic impact locally is a part of that. Stower says she doesn't need a number to know the strike costs them money. You could tell by the empty chairs and the orders. It's just wasn't really coming in. Last night's vote. Our membership voted to accept this contract by 59%. Decided roughly by 15,000 people means around 10,000 machinists wanted this strike to continue. I think uh, had we gone on any longer, I feel like our, we would have reached diminishing returns. So I think um, we dragged it out just as long as we needed to. I voted no. Why is that? So as a 19-year-old who lives with their parents still and gets free college, this contract is great for me. I am happy with it. However, I voted for my colleagues who need to support their families. Anything to drink for you? With the strike over, Stower says her one wish is for this place to be full of customers during the lunch rush when workers come back to work as early as tomorrow. Busy, of course. I have the business, you know, pick up some to help out everywhere. And Cornelius, when do the machinists have to be back to work? The deadline for them to come back is the 12th, but as you heard at the end of my story, folks can start coming back tomorrow. All right, thank you.